These people are working together to plan for the future military presence in Afghanistan. As you can imagine, the withdrawal of approximately 33,000 U.S. forces in 12 months' time is uh, a significant uh, act in, to accomplish. So with that, we've developed what we call a fusion cell here at U.S. Forces Afghanistan headquarters to do several things. This fusion cell is figuring out the process needed to reduce the number of troops on the ground while ensuring operations continue successfully. And we look at the risk to campaign, the risk to operations, and the risk to missions when we make those recommendations for different skill sets and different units that could possibly be redeployed. The plans required are complicated. But we've got time to do this right, and that's the important piece. Just because we're reducing forces in Afghanistan doesn't mean that we can accept any degradation in our ability to conduct the counterinsurgency campaign. While the process is complex, folks working in this fusion cell have a goal, meeting President Obama's requirements for 10,000 troops redeployed out of Afghanistan by the end of the year. Air Force Staff Sergeant Rebecca Goodwin, Kabul, Afghanistan.